Hey everybody, Sarasota Tim, coming to you from inside the crasher, and uh, this morning I was venting a little bit about the T-Mobile, now let's have a little uh, devotion here, let's get, let's get back on track, let's stay positive. <laughs> There's a reason for everything, and uh, what I've been learning that's a common theme in the devotional, in the inspiration of the insp uh, devotional book here, is uh, uh, everything is always about seeking God first. When you wake up in the morning, before you tackle the task, and the first thing people think of generally is, wow, uh, especially if you're still working, and, and maybe if you're not working, and people just start thinking about their day. All right, yesterday I didn't do this, so I got to do that today, or today's the day I got to do this thing or that thing, or there's an appointment you have, a doctor, your job, got to mow your grass. I don't know. There's there's always something on our minds when we wake up. Uh, today is a house cleaning day. Uh, I got to make my bed, <laughs> you know, and I haven't made mine yet. I'm honest here, folks. I'm honest. I wouldn't lie to you. I have not made my bed yet. I've been too worried about uh, seeing if this phone works. <laughs> Because it's been very disconcerting for me for the last couple of days. By the way, I do have the uh, the Crusher back. The Crusher's brand new. The Crusher got some extra love. Uh, there was a little spot on the back that I did uh, backing into a Walmart. One of those poles. And uh, I, I did a little boo-boo on the bumper uh, on the driver's side. And uh, they went ahead. The, the, the nice guy there, Chris, uh, went ahead and while they had to paint that little plastic piece... Uh, that went above the bumper where it was all pulled out. They went ahead and sprayed a little extra paint on the back of the truck and fixed that up for me. So she's even better than, well, she's like she was uh, when I bought her. Brand new. And uh, I'm very happy about that. All right. So this morning's devotional, what is today? Is today um, the 26th or the 27th? Oh, man. I really don't know. Um... I think it's the 27th, so we're going to go ahead and read that, because I just read this a little bit, and I said, oh, I read that already. All right. Uh, Trust is a golden pathway to heaven. Now, i got a paraphrase here, you know, to keep everything legitimate. <laughs> um, okay, when you follow God's path... Uh, you live above your circumstances, is what it, what it basically says there in the next sentence. This is only a paragraph, so bear with me. Uh, his light shines on those who follow him. Uh, this path for life. Again, I'm paraphrasing. Leaving out a couple of words so I don't, you know. And uh, those that dare to walk on the high road with him... Uh, because it's the most direct route to heaven. The low road is, what is that? Circuitous, C-I-R-C-U-I-T-O-U-S. Circuitous. I guess circling, huh? Uh, the low road, circuitous. Yeah. Twisting and turning in agonizing knots. Oh, my. Yeah, the low road. Take the high road and it's a straight line with the Lord. Uh, there, uh, the air hangs heavy and dark. Ominous clouds predominate. It says, if you, if you rely on your own understanding, it will weigh you down. Trust in me absolutely and I will make your path straight. Well, folks, and then after you read the devotion, the first paragraph, they actually give you a couple of scriptures that are from the Bible that are backing up what that says. And this one is from John 14, 1 and 2. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I am going there to pre prepare a place for you. Then the next one is from uh, 2 Timothy 4, 18. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack 
and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. And then the last one today is a proverb, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. So you see, it just repeats what the, uh, what the devotional basically says. That acknowledging him, walking with him, step in step, every step of the day, you wake up in the morning and you say, you know what, Lord? I have this many things to do today, or I only have this many things, but there's, I only have one little thing that I'm thinking about doing. I got to go to T-Mobile. Lord, I don't know why I walked out of there last night and it didn't work last night, and this thing is what it is, if I'm not supposed to have it, or they're going to give me a new one, or they're going to just make me realize I pushed the wrong button. But Lord, I trust in you. I'm going to trust in you. I'm not going to be thinking about negativity on T-Mobile, about the representative, about the money, about anything. I'm just going to trust that he already fixed the situation uh, where I had no internet, basically. And he said, Tim, it's time, you know, that you've upgraded uh, your your deal. Your channel's grown. You're putting up all these videos. You, you promoted uh, Visible. Everybody and their brother now joined it. <clears throat> and they just have a lot of traffic on those signals. And it's good for people that are just surfing the web. But you need more power. You need to switch to premium gas. So... I don't know why I went into that first store and the girl was rude and lied. She was very disingenuous about what they were doing there. I stayed with T-Mobile and went to another location in the Boynton Mall and met a, a guy. I even asked him if he knew the Lord Jesus. He said, he said he does. He's 22 years old. A very sweet boy. He was a, a very calm um uh, I was glad to get him. And, you know, I talked to him on the phone before I went. I called there. And he went in the back room. He spent time with me on the phone. He didn't rush me. And I went down there and I, I said, Hi, I, uh, I I spoke to somebody on the phone. I didn't get his name. But we spoke at length and it was very, you know, quick after the phone call I was there. And the guy that I said that to says, Oh, I recognize your voice. He had you on speaker. He was the manager. He goes, It's uh, It's... I won't say his name. Well, his first name wouldn't uh, wouldn't do anything. It was um, I forget it. It was Tudor or Tudor or something like that. He's a Hispanic guy, and uh, he got him. And I couldn't have gotten a better representative. And I'm going to be giving him a survey. It's going to be coming today. And he, I guess they get bonuses on that. And he dotted every I and crossed every T. Uh, and and he took care of me in 15 minutes. You know, when you get a new phone. That takes all day. They got to transfer all your data. All this stuff has to happen. But just to get a new service and delete your old service, that happens pretty quickly. You know, as long as you got your IME number, your account number, your zip code that you had uh, when you got the service, and your six pin unique, uh, six digit unique pin number. You do have to have some stuff, but it's all right there on your, on your account. So walking with God is sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Like, God, you could have took me to this place in Boynton Beach first. Why did I have to go through that? And this is the question that a lot of people do. They start questioning God. You know, well, God, if you're real, why do you allow this such heinous thing to happen? Or let me lose my loved one or this to happen to children or, you know, you just can't. You just can't understand. We have a little pea brain. Uh, we're just human. And God is omnipotent, omniscient. And he is all-powerful and all-knowing. And there are reasons to that you'll later understand that builds your character and makes you have more faith. You can't just learn from one thing and say, Oh, God helped me on that. And now I'm this all-powerful, faith-believing, super-faith person. No, it's a process, and you constantly have the world chipping away at you with negativity. The TV, people, road ragers, 
your family, friends, uh, just everything is just constantly, uh, like it talks about in the Bible, you get all these arrows being shot at you all day long. Uh, especially when you try to start swimming upriver and everybody else is going downriver looks at you and like, what are you doing? No, no, no. They want to bring you down. Come with us. So it's, it's very difficult to understand and, I, and I'm even questioning it myself. But I'm smart enough to know that it's all going to work out. It's all going to be good. Uh, I'm going to end up getting my whole internet issue resolved. And I'm either going to keep that little thing. I keep pointing to it that box, that modem, that's going to be kind of a cool thing. Or God's going to say, Tim, you don't need that extra $50 a month. You can do like you've been doing with your phone. I'll, I'll, I'll provide that for you. You know, that, that service is going to be strong enough uh, to do what you need to do. The air conditioning finally shut off. Um, but right now, I need to do the first thing. And that is what I'm doing right now is talk to you, encourage you, remind you, uh, that yesterday's gone, tomorrow might not ever get here, to always crush it every day, always crush the Lord, always, always be thankful, gratitude. And if you show kindness and do these things that nobody else can see and, the, and that God sees, I was going to sneeze, you get rewarded. You get rewarded from the highest giver. Uh, there's no reason to get on a soapbox and let the world see what you're doing you know, uh, oh, I did this or I did that. Uh, I gave this, you know, I helped this person. It's good to do those things. Do them all you can. But when you do the, the small things, when you practice the integrity and you do the things in private that only God sees you do, you will be rewarded beyond your, it says uh, the humble will be exalted and the exalted will be humbled. So, Always try to do the right thing. Always be kind to everybody. Be sweet, everybody. Quit those bad things that you know you can quit. You know, be, be kind to your partner. Be kind to people. Um, you know, improve your language. There's no reason to, to cuss. Uh, and we all, you know, do it. You can, you can do it a lot less. You know, find those words in the English vocabulary. Or if you're a Spanish speaker, in the Spanish language that do not include curse words. Speak, come on, you can do that. And that's easy for any of us to do. You got them cigarettes going on, they're five or $10 a pack and they're just charring up your insides, ruining your gizzard with that alcohol. Come on, lighten up, drink less, start to start, to start cutting back, be sociable drinker. Um, or quit altogether if, if you're like me and you couldn't do it in moderation. I could never do it in moderation. I could say right now, oh, I'll just drink wine. I've done that. I was on the liquor and then I said, oh, I'll just drink wine. Wine led to lots of wine. And then wine led back to liquor. You know, you, you can't lie to yourself. If you have an addictive personality, but what you can do is you can practice kindness. You can practice a good mouth and... You can practice praying and acknowledging first thing in the morning and all throughout the day and not questioning when after you pray, another bad thing happens or a, a curve in the road. He keeps throwing these at you. We keep reading it. He keeps putting you, he's molding you, he's shaping you, he's guiding you. He's making you who you are going to be that you, you, you didn't even know you had this kind of a way of being that's going to make you so happy. Because what is happiness? Happiness is something to be enthused about. It's not money. It's not a new camper or car or job or a raise or a vacation or a cruise or a new outfit or a new iPhone. Happiness is a feeling of being enthused about something. And if you can be excited about knowing God in a closer relationship and seeing how he works and just enjoying that all day long, like, all right, God, I'm waiting for you to, I'm praying about this, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to trust in, like, this is what I want, but I know that you may throw me a whole curve, but I'm going to be prepared for it. Start getting your mind prepared to crush it. <laughs>